once you've solved your problem, you have two options. One is to go on delving into it in greater and greater depth, and people look from the outside, get more and more bored. You may still be very fascinated by the fine details, but um, a better strategy, I think, is to actually move on and find a new problem. But that's much, much easier said than done. And if you do find a new problem, chances are you find yourself in very uh, unfamiliar territory. And you really have to go back to, to basics. And I, I, I found this when I moved from being sort of expert in the control of protein synthesis to finding myself working in the control of the cell cycle. Luckily for me, very little was known about the control of the cell cycle. I don't like it when tons is tons is known. You, know, you have to read 500,000 papers. This is never going to work, right? <laughs> so it's, so, but it is, it is scary, that. Very, very scary, going into a new field and finding yourself, you know, because you only really learn by making mistakes. And, uh, you know, and you make some pretty embarrassing mistakes and it's, it, it, it's hard to bear that, you know, it's not, it's, it's not, nobody says that science is easy, or at least they shouldn't.